Yeah, I know. I'm back. Welcome to Hunter Drops. We're going salty, paradise, frosty, wailing woods and tilted in OG Fortnite. Hope you like it. Here's game one. Game one. It feels good just saying that. You gotta know we're going salty. This is where it all started for me, at least in Fortnite. Sorry, Halo fans. Crack house was taken, so I dropped on the brick building. Salty got salty almost immediately, but luckily I won this spray battle. I could hear a man under me, but if I don't take my medicine, I'm gonna die. Chug chug with you. Feeling refreshed, I left salty with my life and decent loot, but then got about as far as Dusty Divot before running into more action. Other guy got stuck in a tree and I euthanized him. Hid in the divot waiting for my next prey, who I spray. But oh no! They can build! No! Stop! Dead place! The only reason I'm alive is I had a grappler and they did not. Okay, I'm safe in a tree. No one's around. Yeah, I'm nearly dead. But everything should be good. <laughs> that was about how I expected the first one to go, but now we're in game two. It's a brand new day. Salty was hot, so I dropped this little house. I mean, is it technically Salty Springs? I don't know, you can see it on the map. Regardless, I got to salting, sniping this player, just trying to loot. Safely spired, sent some shots south, so citizens suffered. I spent a little too much time up there sniping and didn't get any kills or loot, but had fun. Yeah, this game has been going on a while for me to be shotgunless, but hey, there's a supply drop. Just farming up and got attacked and you can tell here by the speed of my 90 it's not gonna go well oh yeah look he's already over me essentially if you can build any bit decently i'm not gonna kill you i do have to give myself some credit these were my first games back in i don't even know how long finally got the crack house drop this is the best one let's go decently looted for salty springs you never get too much here before it's time to fight it's all senseless violence generally it's a very bad neighborhood and remember my building was not crispy though it does get better with time that's the whole point of hunter drops way back when i made this series to get better at Fortnite, and you can't get better without dying game four went for a jog and got shot, I've gotta move. Dude came in to end me, and despite not having a shotgun, I still lived. Really tried to look cool here for the camera, doing some edits through my box, but then missed most of my shots. Still got him. Kidneys failing, I got attacked again from the Spire and Salty. Grappling away felt like the best option, though it did not work out. Fish in a bush and crack, let's go. Getting shot at by player one while shooting player three while player six killed us all. That's Salty though, no one ever drops here for peace. You drop in to grab a gun and try to kill somebody. And hopefully you don't end end up dead, but most of the time I do. Game seven, the notes say obliterated by a soccer skin. Let's see how accurate that is. Okay, he's already got like a hundred health of me. All right, now he's in my home. Tried to add it, shot him, but I'm not certified in that. He was. This player must be new to Salty. Don't you know you're not supposed to sit on the roofs like that? I didn't have to go shoot him, but I did. Another soccer skin came in. This one did not build. Neither did I. We could be pro Fortnite game. Ah! That's embarrassing. I got bushed. Game nine, I left Salty early for some fighting in this field. He was a computer. I'll take it. I've been getting thrashed. From there, I bushed my way to Lonely Lodge, where I found this player just trying to search a gnome. I did not build. I believed in my bush. That was foolish. Spraying my way downtown. Dro over to the mansion in my golf cart when someone landed on top of me. Should have got out and built. Don't know why I tried to drive away. Totally potatoed my grappler too. I was just trapped in the open. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing in Fortnite? Sir, pumping soccer skins. Oh look, an injured guy healing. <laughs> oh look, his edit shot might be a little fast for you. Let's slow that one down. I stayed in salty far too long. If you stay here long enough, you're gonna get salted. Nice teleport, bro. That was a good move. <laughs> I really wanted to change my skin after every game in this video, and you can tell when I'm salty from a death when I don't. Left salty with a nice new lease. Killed a robot and Dusty, not even sure why I mentioned him. Then I thought a real guy was doing okay too. I thought I heard him rift, but apparently you can fake that. It was a trap. I got boogie on, pumped him clean, but not hard enough. Salty was hot, game 12, couldn't even drop on the gas station. Good thing I'm good at running away. Ran to Dusty and got dusted. Again, game 13, default dance down to Fatal Fields. Bushed a guy good, he weren't ready. And poke, dude had like nothing. Kinda feel bad. Bushed my way to the end. Oh my, I'm being shot. He was good, shot me the whole time I ran away. And then someone else shot me. Dropped Spire, game 14, don't wanna talk to anyone. And still got shot. Oh, llama though, that was nice. Never left salty though. Oh, that was my first mistake. I deserve what happened to me. Game 15 died quick, just didn't see it coming. You can really tell I wanted a dub. I got that soccer skin on. It did not help. Yeah, 17 was bad too. I just had no chance. But a million people in Salty Game 18. I could hear them dropping right over me. Got some lucky shots on this player who attacked me early, which was good. They were definitely better. Walked out of that battle on 10 health, but alive. Immediately, someone else came in, so I threw bombs on the structure and ran away. Won this fight because my internet is better. He definitely shot me there. I'm on 10 health. His shotgun definitely goes into me, but I live. 
Thanks, money. I don't deserve it. Here you'll see, I stank myself. Back in Salty, found a llama. Not sure how everyone missed this. So I looked at my loot, looked at my health, looked at my mats, and figured at this point, I've got everything I need to win. So I hid myself in this shack right by Salty. I've lost every game where I try to keep fighting, so I'm just gonna stop fighting. I guess you could take this moment to subscribe. If a lot of you do it, and I can see that, maybe these Fortnite videos will make a return. Got lucky with the Cirque, but there was a lot of fighting right nearby. I feared for my life the entire time. And yeah, I am totally just looking through the cracks of my shack. Just watching that build fight, I could tell if I got involved, I'd be dead. Oh yeah, fighting happened here. Ah, oh, perfect. Two guys left and they're duking it out right in front of me. Well, hi guy not looking. Die! Right now it's me, full health, and two injured gentlemen. I'm gonna need it. They're good. Somehow, I held the high ground just as it turned into a one versus one. I figured the other guy was low and I didn't want him to heal, so I pushed. Maybe if I act like I'm good, he'll think I'm good. In the end, the other player came to me. I hit him with a decent pump shot and spread him down for that win. Woo! You could fill a pool with my hand sweat. Not gonna lie, I was pretty certain I was gonna make it through the entire salty section without one, but that felt good! Back to back though, come on, believe in me! Drop was terrible, no chest in the top of crack, and there were three dudes in there. I ran away! Looted up little stuff around the area, got decently armed. Circle finale, because I hid. I'm the greatest. Three other dudes and me, one of the guys is trying to murder everyone. I got very lucky with the final final circle, everyone had to come to me. Circle closing, chaos erupting, I hit a nice Pump shot on this guy. I knew he was low, so I tried to go up and end him, but just bonked my head. But by the time I got down, I won the game. Not entirely sure what happened there, but I'll take the win. And back to backs too. Last one in Salty, I wore JW, going for the back to back to back. Left Salty with no kills, unfortunately, that's how I win. Everything was going fine until I got shot by a guy near Paradise. He had surprise, a grappler, and on top of all of that, he could edit, so I perished. However, unlike him, you have felt the touch of a woman. I paid her to say that. Warmed up from the severity of Salty Springs, now it's time for Paradise Palms. Obviously, one of my favorite drops by far, it made it into this video. There's always just been a lot of loot here, and not that many people come to it comparatively. Of course, you may have to do some fighting, especially if you drop on the hotel, but I handle them. I've been at Salty. Now you see my strategy get murdered at Salty so I can shine in Paradise. Unlike Salty, if you're trying to win, Paradise, that's a good drop. Game 21, I left with pretty much everything I could ever want. Full materials, rockets, Healthy. However, final circle's on top of this mountain, and some dude already has a fortress there. I was patient, and the circle got smaller. Three guys left, I'm one of them. I'd been shooting both for essentially the entire time. They had to be low. Don't know why Buddy thought a turret might work, but it did not. Now there's one guy left. He's low. Let's get it! Slapped him with the pump, but still died. Good game, Fat Bratwurst69. Good game. I mean, hey, second place ain't bad, and that's pretty standard for Paradise Palms. It's a good location. I did have to fight a bit game 22. You might have to in Paradise, but I came out okay. I'm not really sure if this guy was a computer. I can't tell. He didn't build. I don't know. This time I left Paradise with six kills. Some looked decent, like this one. Then I hid in Fatal Fields. Figured I'd done enough slaying. Two dudes left, they're both fighting, and I'm jumping in. The confidence. Instantly lost my confidence when I got built over. Then I fat fingered the pump combo. I deserved third. Got to the end again, and then was killed by someone way better. Same thing game 24, even coming in eighth place. Had the double barrel game 25, totally fumbled with it, but this thing did do a lot of damage, so I was okay. Got surprised by a bush in Paradise, that's embarrassing. Glad I'm dead after that one. Got out of Paradise and into a fight where I erased this guy with my blue pump. But there was a bush under us who got me. Tried to be sneaky game 27, that didn't work. 90% of my health was gone by the time I touched the ground game 28. Healed up, didn't matter. Yeah bro, if I start seeing the edits come out, I know I'm cooked. Whatever, I get to play with my friends next game. They came back, playing some no build with Mater, game 31. He's the guy that does all the thumbnail art. A lot of people that quit Fortnite, like Mater, came back with OG Fortnite. It was good to see them play again. We hopped into no build, trying to get them back into it. You might not like me saying this, I'm not a massive fan of no build Fortnite. Fortnite, without the building, just kind of feels like a weird cartoony shooter. Fort is in the name. Come on, it's fine, I guess. Different, for sure. It's just, uh, you know, it's not the Fortnite I fell in love with. Anyway, final circle, up on a mountain, we're in pretty much the best spot you can be. Everyone else has to push towards us, and we have a fortress, which are OP in no build. Unfortunately, Mater fell in the hole of death. There's really no helping him when you can't build out. He fought bravely, and I helped with my grenade launcher. One player did grapple up, it's really the only way to get to the top. I don't think he expected me. Two guys left, one of them down, me kinda scared. Wasn't sure where they were hiding till they thirsted my brother, so I killed them!
He was very, very good bait. Default danced on him too, the disrespect! Now we're in the build mode. Told Mater he'd be fine, this is real Fortnite. No build kids are gonna hate that I said that, and I really don't care. Paradise was fine, you know, a few homicides. I was defending myself. It's all good. Together, we took down the entire hotel. That, that was satisfying. Left with great stuff and a golf cart, because paradise is paradise. Still a little fighting and landing, you know, the huge. Final circles looking good. We've got a fort in Fortnite. It was us and two other guys. We had a big standoff. When it came time to move, I probably should have used my grapplers. I built poorly and got shot for it. Then healed poorly and got shot some more. Coughing up a lung, I tried to make it to safety, but did not. And Mater died to the storm. Back at it, we're hungry. Circle was far this time. That's maybe the one downside to paradise. For the most part, we stayed out of harm's way. A second place loss will do that to you. A lot of circle here. We're healthy with decent stuff. Look, a rocket! Two verse two now, we at least get second place. In the end, it was a mad dash to safety. Here, mobility is all you need to win. Luckily, I had a grappler and even still took a ton of damage. By the time I got to the end, I found Mace fighting the last guy in the lobby. We shot him together and won the game. Getting that dub on build mode felt good for both of us. Cause this is real Fortnite. Labeled game 34, let's hit that back to back. Gotta hit the hotel if you wanna do good. Took out this player before he was ready. How skillful. Don't worry about what happened. I saved the day, left with a golf cart and tons of loot. Final circle, trying to get on top of this mountain. There were some issues. For sure thought this guy was cooked. I mean, look at that, so much damage. But then I stumbled and fell all the way down. With hardly any time to react, I was pounced and killed. Mater died later. Playing JW game 35, so you know I'm not messing around. We left paradise with four kills and then kept killing. Circle was closing on top of that giant mountain by Dusty Divot and everyone wanted to be there. We weren't even fighting for the mountain. We were fighting for a house by the mountain. And it was absolute calamity. No! No, please! I was avenged, but now Mater has to deal with those guys on the mountain. He tried, but they gassed him out for second place. Back to solos, and let's just say they did not go well. Hate dying when I chug, that sucks. No shotgun game 40, that means no chance. Didn't get the hotel drop game 39? He did. Finally got a good game, this one nearly ended early. Skip to the end here, where I've got something that's not even from OG Fortnite. Feels dirty even using it. One versus one, and I totally panicked, sending both of us into the ground. I got the high ground, he took it back with a rift. Built over him hit the edit, and BAM! Solo win. That was fun, Paradise. I'll miss you. Frosty Flights. Honestly, the location is not really what I'm here for. It's the planes. But game 41 looks like everyone else wants planes too, and my drop was pretty bad. I'll settle for this house. Then I got distracted by a treasure map. Yeah, might as well. Probably should not have run into Greasy Grove with nothing. Alright, better drop. I think this time I'll actually get a plane. No guns, just ran straight for the thing. Yeah! Started getting shot immediately, and I can't control this thing on mouse and keyboard. So I went down in about 30 seconds. Somehow, didn't die and grabbed another plane. I was just having fun with it, man. It'd been so long. But I flew for one minute before running low on fuel. Well, that's kind of lame, Fortnite. Planes never had gas. Got my plane to Haunted Hills, and now I can't fly it. How fun. Well, at least I can use the old balloon and quad launcher comp. Oh. If you're gonna give us OG Fortnite, don't nerf stuff. That's just rude. I'm dead and don't care. You know what? Fine, I'm a grown man. Planes have gas. I can deal with that. Just don't fly like a maniac. What I don't get is there are gas stations in the game. You could let us refill the plane, but you can't. It's really my only complaint about OG Fortnite. Everything else, I've just been having a really great time. Oh, and by the way, one verse one in the final circle. I was doing great until I stumbled and fell off the high ground. From there, I totally lost my cool, had 1,200 mats and hardly used any. My opponent jumped in my box and I missed all of my crucial pump shots. And with a gold one, any one of those could have won the game. Well, now I'm stuck dropping here a bunch more times. I uh, give it a few more games before everyone figures out the planes got nerfed. But for now, it's just insanely hot. I will say, despite dying to it here, I'm so excited to touch the minigun again. Duos with Mater, Tours is coming later, the planes are gonna bring people back. Yeah, I was right, it only took a few hours for Frosty to completely cool down. Everyone realized that the planes are garbage. Okay, Fortniters, it is time to fly our planes in a straight line without boosting. Because if we boost even a few times, we will run out of fuel and not be able to have fun anymore. I know I checked the salty gas station a few days ago, but it was burned out, and I thought, well, maybe it was destroyed. I can't do gas, but yeah, no, they're just not letting us. Circle finale, and it got crazy. One versus one duo, and this guy just took a bunch of damage. But then I took a bunch of damage. That quad launcher does not mess around. Two on one, it was not looking good for us. If only we had a plane. Full squad, like the good old days. We back! Tours went down, so I had to avenge her. That avenging led to more avenging, and now my entire squad's dead. I 
can get him back, all I gotta do is take out everyone else. And after a lot of fighting on almost no health, this guy died instantly. There we go. All right, my team gets to live. Let's grab this chug and get on my way. <laughs> Not proud of it, but game 48, I completely abandoned the squad for a treasure map. I mean, I'll tell them about it eventually. Tried to leave and got attacked by another plane. This is what I get. Backup came and now with two planes and a minigun, we're on top. Tors went down in the commotion, but I grabbed her soul. Jake went down in Greasy and we gotta get the card now cause the storm's coming. Fought bravely, killed one, but missed a shot to kill the other. Mace lived and rebooted all of us. Even grabbed me my minigun. I'm alive, but now it's the end of the game and we have basically nothing. Well, at least our opponents are ballooning. Then in our way into Tilted, the squad was attacked by several bushes. And one by one, they pushed us all. Game 49 had a very very poor start, but there was hope. Jake brought me back. This time, reboot cards weren't in the storm, so we could pick them up easy. Then we brought everyone back right in Frosty. We were all having so much fun. Together, we bonked down the entire disco. Cirque got small, so we tried to rift for the best location. Unfortunately, most of the squad got horribly shot on the way in. I also got sniped for half my health bar. Yeah, the end of this one was not pretty. Look at that squad and tell me it's not a squad of winners! Quiet day in Frosty. We looted, then got a plane. Then we flew in a straight line to Viking Village. Let's just say we had some trouble running from the storm. Yeah, I had to ditch that plane and use rifts. Ugh. You know what? That's fine. I'll use a cannon. Circle's closing in the divot, and that's always difficult. You just don't want to go down too quick or you'll get shot. Look at that. Got a plane in the final circle. Bravo, other team. Tried to minigun them, but that plane hit me good. That's a dusty circle for you. Game 51, I just exploded. 52 was not much better. 53, same. Left salty 54, but that was about it. And 55, I blew myself up. Frosty was quiet. Game 56, except one bush. Who might dealt with. Left with a plane and pretty terrible stuff, to be honest. Loot a lucky landing. Sometimes you can get the whole thing for free. Yep, got to loot everything. Now my chances are looking better. Fatal Fields, final circle. I was farming and got absolutely melted. Somehow I escaped with 23 health. Come on, chug chug! Oh, well, gold pump. Yeah, that's something. Found heals. Nearly died getting them. Let's see if I can make this happen. Two other guys left and they're both fighting on top of this big structure that ain't even in the circle. So I went to the circle and built my own fort. One guy left, had no idea where he was until he was flying down on top of me. He took the high ground, but I've got a grappler and a gold pump. And with that combo, you just need one. Absolute and utter unsportsmanlike conduct. I'm only gonna do that once, you're welcome. Frosty was chill except for one single sweat. He tried to hop in and kill me, but I have a minigun! He had no chance. That's why I like the minigun gun and planes and all the other stuff Fortnite takes out of the game because sweats don't like them. Boo. Bushing on my business when a soccer skin came in and tried me. Minigunned him too. His building practice meant nothing. Final circle, couple forts, really it's anyone's game. Now we're at the point where the circle's gonna start moving and no one is safe. I do have a grappler, so I got that going for me. With the storm moving, I minigunned my way to a one verse one. Last guy pushed me and I minigunned him too. But now we're both in that storm and it's escaping us quick. When I realized I could not get to safety, my only hope is that he would die first, but he didn't. Frosty was salty, game 59. These two dudes were fighting. They fought so long, they fell to the bottom of the map. And I think the one guy that lived didn't have the mats to get back up. Yeah, he saw my plane coming around and just jumped off. This is about as far as I got a plane. Final circle, six people left, and I'm still flying. And it stayed that way till the very end. We've got six people running in this final, final circle. Got the grappler, and if I learned anything from last game, it's to keep moving. Four still alive in a very small circle. I'm holding that high ground though, somehow. This guy didn't know what hit him, he thought he was safe. Two dudes left, they're fighting, I am moving. Got ahead and shot them both to win this game, oh yeah. Invented damn on the nine year olds. Last game of Frosty trios with my burdens. I mean friends. Yeah, I straight up left him to go to the other side of the map for a supply drop. When they needed me, I returned with air support. After that, we were just chilling when a whole team showed up in a golf cart. I'm not entirely sure if they knew we were here. They looked surprised, don't worry. Your pro gamer friend has got you. Final square, we're separated. Never a great thing. The other team pounced on us, and I missed a lot of shoddy shots. And in the face of the minigun, I mean, come on, what you gonna do? Well, either way, Frosty was fun. Now it's time for my true favorite, the wonderful Wailing Woods. This place is the best. I miss it so much. Get out! I'm reminiscing! Kinda thought by now they'd put in that underground bunker that was classic and everyone loved. They never do. Whaling's great, cause no one goes there. That's my style. Sure, it's on the edge of the map, but with nearby planes, that's hardly an issue. Saw a guy and shot him with the plane. Don't know why, should've kept flying. I know why. Because this, this is fun. Really shouldn't have though, we're both in the storm now. At least he died. I made it!
I'm 16 health, but I made it. I was looking for heals when someone sniffed me. Got out of that one, because the other guy just built up too high. All the loot in the world, but no health packs. I know this area right here, I'd get some campfire health if I didn't get attacked. Come on, no breaks. It was definitely not a human at all, but a computer, which made me fall off and die. Oh well, I'll very likely make it to the end again in game 62. You just do in Wailing Woods. Yeah, got decent stuff, so I'm just gonna sit here. I'll sit here too. Yeah, this is a little risky, but I'm a good sitter. Sat my way to the final circle, let's do it. Sprayed my way into a loot upgrade, nice. Now I'm healthy and strong, this game could be mine. Circle's moving and I'm right there. Oh yeah, look at them, they're so far away, I've got this. Even with my head start, it came down to the wire. But I juked the other player and got a Wailing Woods win. I make it to the end in virtually all of these Wailing Woods games. But win? Yeah, that's a different story. I hide the whole game, pop out in the final circle, and do my best. Well, sometimes I don't even make it out of the forest. You'll find I'm very good at coming in second place. And you know, sometimes hiding doesn't work at all. The only thing with hiding is it kind of means nothing if you lose. But that's what we do! Hey, you're one of a hundred, you ain't gonna win them all. Brought my friends along to hide with me and get second place with me. Sometimes it worked out though, like here. Good win! And even when hiding doesn't work out, at least you get to play in the end game, which is always fun. Game 74 was crazy. In the mountains by Pleasant, we were approached by several bot squads. Pretty quickly, we got 20 plus kills because our opponents weren't real. You'd probably like to hear me say that Knowing they were bots, it didn't feel that good, but it definitely did. Suffer bot! Last guy was not building in the open. A total computer. Whatever. We'll take it. Game 75, they were real though and killed everyone but me. 3 vs 1 is definitely not impossible, but also not very probable. But now we're 3 vs 1, look at that. I like being on this end a little bit better. Back to back would be sweet and this game's looking good. Circle was gonna end in tilted though, that made us all nervous. It all fell apart very quickly for us, we are the Wailing Wood hiding squad. What did you expect? I didn't expect the jetpacks, this game was a few days later and I was totally caught off guard. I know I already said it, but big bummer we didn't get the bunker. Not gonna lie, it probably would wouldn't have dropped here 20 times if it was just the maze. I had to go to risky every game to not have terrible loot, and sometimes that just didn't work out. But dropping in game 80, I was sad. Even without the bunker, I will still miss Wailing Woods. So I gave it my all. Looted Wailing, got to risky, and didn't die. I didn't even look at anyone else, and sat on the edge of the map with a plane and full materials. This is how I'm going to win. Yes, fight sweats kill each other. Didn't fire a shot until it was a one verse one and the other guy was in the storm, probably injured. He had a rift and I missed every single shot as he came down. Ugh. Mid fight found a grappler, I just prefer it over the jetpack. And this will go down as one of the worst plays probably ever. Threw an airstrike on myself only to get shot while holding a chug jug. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this video strong with the most notorious location in all of Fortnite. Tilted Towers, a beautiful city caked in default blood. Dropping here, you have to know that you're likely not going to make it. This place has by far the most loot, which also means you'll have by far the most people. So in all likelihood, you'll end up crawling on the floor. Mater died, so I grabbed his card and ran away. Trying to reboot inside of Tilted Towers will just get us both killed. We lived a good life after that. Not every Tilted story ends in tragedy. Look at this, final circle with good stuff too. That hope was lost about a minute later when Mater died and I blew myself up. You know what, we lasted way longer than your average Tilted Towers drop. Most of the time you drop in and get shot like I'm doing to this guy. Tilted was hectic, but I made things far worse with an airstrike. These things ain't good, but man, they're fun. Got me a minigun, let's go. Things only seem to get worse, now dinosaurs are falling from the sky. Let's leave, said the white people. Went to tomato and minigunned noobs, or bots. I'm not sure. Circle was closing near there. Three teams. I was minigunning, Mace was sniping. It was a great combo. Circle was moving, so I just tried to get some better position when Mace won the game for us. That was a good one. In Tilted. Dropping back in game 83, hopes were obviously high. Things were going pretty good. Shot this guy not looking at me, but then got attacked by a flying bush. I'm not kidding. I ran and I died. But I lived game 84. Major did not. I'll fix it. Hey, I'm looking on the bright side. We left tilted. Hey, now we got a plane. Look at us. One verse one, at least with teams anyway. Oh wow, that was very, very short lived. Completely gunless game 85. I was chased out of tilted. Serpentine! Serpentine! Wow, that guy really wanted me dead. I left with two life. And then Mater went down. I'm not even in the same area code. Oh, that's nice. He died right on the sidewalk. The baller has fuel too. They call it energy. I don't care that much because it lasts a long time. Both alive in tomato. Should have just dropped here. Somehow, again, final circle. I started this game on like two health. Hey, one other team and they got to push to us. All right, this one's looking good. Just got to keep letting them have it. <laughs> Mater tried to get me up, but was about a tenth of a second too late. Man. 
That one was looking good, too. Tilted was fine, game 86. We both left early. But now we're fighting in Loot Lake. Oh, no. That was a pretty bloody fight, but I'm from Tilted and used to it. I downed one. Oh, yeah, I thirsted. Dude had a chug. We're gonna make it. Raider went down on top of the build fight, so now I'm just trying to get his card. Grabbed it, jumped off, and rifted. I really should have lived that. It said zero, bro. This is not fair. The gaggle is growing. Jake's with us now. He died, but there was justice. Street justice. Bring it back, bro. Let me just hit this chuggy real quick. Confidence at an all-time high. I rebooted inside of Tilted Towers. It was just us. We conquered it. Uh... Jake was up. Saved the day. Circle was closing around... Lucky landing. Two teams left, I downed one of them. Went to go eat him, and his friends sent down a rocket, which hit me. But when they came in for the kill, I stole their high ground. They tried to take it back. It was a nice try. Now there's one left. Mace distracted him while I got a chug in. And now two versus one. That's never good. Purple drummed my way to victory. Tilted Towers, trio win. Oh, 90 on him. Yeah, 90 on him. Yeah! No way we win two in a row, right? Dropping Tilted? That'd be crazy. Yes, it indeed would be crazy. A very unlikely event. Flexin' though, these new kids ain't got the real peely. We all died in the first two minutes. Jake went down by the streets of the big building, game 90. Grabbed his card and ripped it out of there. Got attacked after the reboot, but they weren't good enough. Went to Tomato just for everyone to start dying again. I fought two of them, almost killed one, and then the other got me. That was enough tilted for my friends. It's time for solos. Had to run away, game 91. At least I got a gun. I'm not proud of running away, but sometimes you've gotta. Looks like I'll be getting what I deserve soon. I thought about as well as you might expect for someone with no shotgun. Left early again, no shotgun, probably won't work out. No, this time it did, no one was chilling over here. Decent loot, full mats, and a baller, that's pretty much all you need. Cirque was closing in tilted, and with that snipe, it's now a one versus one. I poked him a couple times, it did cost me my bush. Circle was moving, and I had a launch pad. Got a nice spot, now the other guy's gotta push towards me. There he is, and played it perfectly. Hit him with the shotty win the game. Back in Tilted with Mater coming right off that win. Not surprisingly, I played well. Absolutely conquered Tilted Towers. No one was left but us. Circle closed around Salty Springs. We were on the spire. Mater fell off the top, so now I'm alone. Got pushed, but they had no idea that I had a minigun. Now it's me against two other guys. And you really, really just gotta believe me here that I clutched it and won. But at this moment, I ran out of hard drive space. I was just playing too much Fortnite. Oh, okay. See, game 94, I've got the victory crown. You don't get that unless you win. It's pretty epic, bro. Very sad that I lost that footage. Especially since it looks like I'm not gonna be winning in this one. All right. All right, there's hope. We both escaped. Back on our feet, somehow. Fighting the same guys again, and they just downed Mater. Now you gotta deal with me, full health, with a rocket launcher. You won't be able to build your way out of that one. The dream is alive. Got out and had another fight around Dusty Divot. They threw two of those storm thingies at us and rushed in. With two health, I escaped, got behind him, and clutched. Final circle, two other teams. Let's do it. I definitely made a fool of myself with the grappler. Didn't need to take 65 damage there. It was a battle royale. More than normal. Fighting the last two guys on 10 health. Somehow, I just killed one of them. His buddy tried to resurrect him, so I blew up the whole building. That left him in the middle of the circle with no cover, where I sprayed him for my third win in a row. Four in a row, though? In Tilted? Come on, there's no way, no, no way that ever happens. Yep. What I tell ya? Yeah, looks like we're back to tilting, which generally means killing one, and then someone shows up and kills you. Got wick on though, this lobby's going down. Dropped on a minigun, that's a sign. After that, like four dudes showed up, there was airstrikes, so a normal day in tilted. Mater went down, and I was incredibly low health, so I just hit. There's no way I'm killing a team. Hate me for hiding, but I got his card. Back in the game, a little low health, but at least I've got a minigun. Wow. One versus one, circle closing near pleasant. We had a mountain, and everyone else was fighting. Now it's a two versus one. Mace held the mountain, and I pushed in. That's when I saw the last guy left was rebooting. I wasn't quick enough, his buddy will be here soon. But for now, I'm minigunning him. Took him down, but his newly resurrected friend with just a pistol was able to kill me. Yeah, you got one wick, but not number two. Victory minigun! As good as that was, game 98 was absolutely terrible. And I wanted to do well for game 99, so I warmed up in bed wars. Very fun, and warmed me up for sure, but the sound was being real weird. So here we are, game 99. Dropped at not the best spot, but one of my favorites. The basketball court. Hidden the bottom. Took this guy by surprise. Pure skill. Got a baller and left. I'm trying to win. Killed the bot near risky. Grabbed a plane and from there pretty much just chilled. In the final circle, anything can happen. Was gonna try to use my plane for old time's sake, but someone didn't like that idea. This isn't good. He's got the high ground on me. And when I tried to run away, I got sniped in the leg. Hopping in the plane was a panicked idea that I'm not proud of. Game 100. I've had fun. 
Really? I mean it. I have no idea what's gonna happen to Fortnite, but even if I never get to play this map again, I'm glad I did. Too bad my last game was a quick death and tilted. Thank you for watching. Thank you, members. Stay notable. Hopefully, I'll see you in another one.